you came from one of the most populous countries in the world, uh, the most populous in um, Africa, Nigeria, and also you're a developmental economist. How do you compare and contrast and look at China's path to modernization, which is very important to the 1.4 billion people here? Um, China has obviously experimented with a model that is different from the Western mainstream political models, um, what we call the Chinese path to modernization. Madam Director General, how do you look at the Chinese path to modernization? Well, one very important thing in the Chinese path is the openness to the world. And President Xi and, and, and Premier Li keep emphasizing that China will continue to open up and to open to the world. So this is the critical thing. So I think that openness, the liberalization of many sectors in China has contributed to the phenomenal growth that we have seen in China. Of course, China has to continue to be more open, to be more transparent, because that builds trust with the rest of the world. As you know, there's often a complaint that there's no, uh, some lack of transparency in the method that China has used to develop. For us in the trade world, we're often struggling with this, you know, the, you know, other countries or members that complain that there are hidden subsidies, industrial subsidies. We are beginning to work with China to make more transparent those subsidies. And I was delighted during my meeting with Premier Li when he said that, that China's notifications uh, to us at the WTO, which are supposed to come before the end of June, will con contain an unprecedented uh, number of notifications from China, both from the local government as well as the central government, that will show us what the Chinese government is doing uh, with respect to these subsidies and other information. So that kind of openness and transparency is part of the new way China's model is working and China wants to do business. And I strongly want to encourage it because I think the more open China is, the more trust, the more investment will come in. Um, we also need to think about uh, China's model of trying to invest in other countries. And I would strongly encourage, I, I remember what China was trying to do in Ethiopia before the conflict, uh, trying to encourage the development of certain industries uh, in leather, in textiles, in Ethiopia, and Chinese outward direct investment in African countries that creates jobs. That's also welcome.